Beep, 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 beep. Hello, welcome to the court of the EDI Jester. How are we, good peeps? Good day, good day, good day. Mm. Right. Miriam Cates, bless her. I hope you're well, Miriam, if you're watching this. She's not watching it. <laughs> There's an interesting article in the Daily Mail today. Oh, become a warrior teacher, by the way. Adverts going out, inquiries coming in. Some good folk from all over the world. It's fantastic to hear from people who may be interested in becoming part of the team. So do join us. Um, if you can buy me a coffee, please do. End of the month's coming up. <laughs> or subscribe to my Substack. That's the easiest way to, to shove me a fiver every month and help out. Look, it's great that this is going on and that people are helping me. I'm so grateful to everybody who's done so and you know who you are. Thank you very much indeed. So let's get straight on with this. Um, MPs push for sex education transparency where parents could see lesson plans and materials under new law. Right? This is in the Daily Fail today, written by Connor Stringer, and it's about Miriam. So, parents will be able to see sex education lesson plans and other materials under a, no a new law proposed by a Conservative MP. Miriam Cates, the MP for Peniston, don't mispronounce that, and Stocksbridge will today introduce a Sex Education Transparency Private Members Bill. It will create a legal duty for English schools to share materials used in Relationship and Sex Education, RSE. And they would have to share those then with parents and prevent schools from using unpublished materials if they are produced by a third party provider. It comes amid an urgent review into the harmful and graphic sex ed material being peddled to youngsters in schools. The review, launched by Rishi Sunak, is likely to propose changes to the curriculum following complaints from parents about the use of explicit materials for young children. Schools will also get film-style age ratings in a bid to protect children the Department of Education has already announced. The proposal comes after Claire Page lost a legal fight to see the sex education lesson plan used at her daughter's school. A judge ruled that the commercial interests of a third party provider outweighed the public interest in having the school hand over the material. In March, Education Secretary Gillian Keegan, Gillian Keegan sorry, wrote to all schools warning them not to keep parents in the dark over their sex education material. That's it, right? It's a short little article and it's an interesting idea. So this is something we need to think about now. Is it a good one? So what they're saying is, in essence, from what I can garner from this uh, this um, article about Miriam, is that they're going to make it so that they've got to show the parents what they're doing, right? I have a number of problems with this. <laughs> you wouldn't be watching if you didn't think I did, would you? I have a number of problems, right? Here's the number of problems that I have. Most parents I know are phenomenally busy. They're busy. Most grandparents I know are busy. Most teachers I know are busy. You talk to a head teacher, they'll tell you they're swamped constantly. It's like, you know, 12 hour days, 14 hour days is not rare. Okay, these are people that are incredibly pushed for time. And I think it is perfectly natural for them to have reached out to others when the government dropped what essentially was a pile of crap all over them, which is PSHE, RSE sex education, whatever it is that you want to call it. And this smacks of, I'm sorry to say it, a sticking plaster. And I'm <clears throat> of the opinion that the vast majority of what these people are putting together and teaching to kids isn't their job to teach them in the first place. So I think that what we're seeing here is an attempt to save, and I, no disrespect to you, Miriam, whatsoever, your work is incredible, but I think we must be very careful here. Possibly this is all that Miriam can do currently, there may be forces we don't understand that are driving this. Um, I think that what we really need to do is we need to stop PHSE and RSE education at all and tell the parents to do it. There you go. Tell the parents. I can do, I can do the entire sex education curriculum in 15 minutes. Right? You know what I mean? The rest of it can be covered in biology. The rest of it can be covered in biology. Okay? Parents are the ones that should be doing this. Parenting, as somebody said, in response to another one of my videos, they like the concept that parenting is a doing word. It is a doing word. It's not a being word, it is a doing word. So I think that the responsibility of this lies primarily with the parents. In addition to that, having taken a look at Oak Academy and others who you know, are being fated as 
they're going to supply it. We already know the nonsense that's coming from the outside providers. The simple fact of the matter is that this whole thing smacks of far too much bureaucratic interference in the lives of young people. It's an absolute nonsense, most of it. An absolute nonsense. They shouldn't be teaching any of this. You know, PSHE, according to Oak Academy, now takes in um, right-wing you know, extremism, it takes into account all of that sort of stuff. They've, they've riddled it with politics, right, as well. Um, no left wing, by the way. Left's never wrong, is it? Funny that. All written by teachers, this. I wonder why. Oh, they're all leftists. <laughs> when this idea started with Oak Academy, you know, it was done to enable teachers to provide for everybody um, homeschooling stuff in COVID. You know, it was a good idea. It was a good idea. And very much like the sort of thing that you would get from the Times Educational Supplement or any organisation that will provide learning resources to help teachers do their jobs. The problem here seems to be one of um, vetting what it was that produced, what, what was the level that was needed to make sure that what was being taught to children was relevant and not tainted by political ideology or cultural nonsense. And that seems to be where the failure is. I think we can look to the work of DeSantis in America in what he's done in California and perhaps ask ourselves the question would it be a good idea if we were to say that you know no parent oppression narratives folks nothing political nothing right simple cold hard facts simple cold hard facts are what needs to be taught by schools the rest of it is up to parents I think we have to remove the PSHE burden from teachers altogether. We have to take it out completely, put it back into biology for the simple stuff, in terms of things like what do you do with your dick and what you don't do with your dick. Yeah, produce a leaflet, send it to the parents. Get it out of schools. Because unfortunately it seems to have been an inroad for a bunch of nutters. That's what's happened. Who bring in, you know, their rubbish about identity. But Oak Academy's fallen for it. I, I don't know why I'm surprised, and I don't for that matter know why you're surprised when we find out that every bizarre movement or every real movement or any movement of any kind or any objective idea of any kind has been completely colonised by these nutters. So I'm really pleased that they're going to start doing this, but it's a sticking plaster. The problem is the PSAG and schools will stop. Get it out. We need a moratorium. We need to stop doing it, full stop, while we look at it and see what's gone wrong so that we can examine how these lunatic gender identity ideologists, queer theorists and critical race theorists have got any traction in school whatsoever. Oh, and while you're at it, any teacher that's found practicing it or teaching it, fire them. Because that's what, they're not just teaching it, that's the point, they're practicing it. We identify what the ideological framework is, we point out what the ideological framework is, and we say that any hint of that in education um, means that the school will be immediately investigated for safeguarding reasons because these people are mental. They are anti-reality, they are anti-science, and they are anti-human. So I'm pleased that this is happening. I just think it would be easier to stop it altogether. Maybe Miriam thinks that too, I don't know. What's going on in the background? The machinations of Parliament, you know? What's going on? It could all be a bit, you know, yes, Minister, or the thick of it. They're all scrapping it with policy. And I think that unless Sunak bites the bullet on this, we're going to be in real trouble. Trump did, didn't he? I was interested, didn't you think? If you've not seen the video of Trump going for this lot, well, you know, I'll download it and I'll post it. I'll put it on the end of it. I'll stick it on the end of this video for you. All right? Then you can watch Trump. So here you go. You've got me today and Trump. Two for the price of one. Now let's see the orange-faced nitwit speak. I'll see you later. Bye. Our public schools have been taken over by the radical left maniacs. Here is my plan to save American education, restore power to American parents. First, we will cut federal funding for any school or program pushing critical race theory, gender ideology, or other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content onto our children. We're not going to allow it to happen. Next, I will direct the Department of Justice and Education to open civil rights investigations into any school district that has engaged in race-based discrimination. That includes discrimination against Asian Americans. The Marxism being preached in our schools is also totally hostile 
to Judeo-Christian teachings, and in many ways, it's resembling an established new religion. Can't let that happen. For this reason, my administration will aggressively pursue potential violations of the Establishment Clause and the Free Exercise Clause of the Constitution. That's very simple. Additionally, on day one, we will begin to find and remove the radical zealots and Marxists who have infiltrated the Federal Department of Education. And that also includes others, and you know who you are, because we're not going to allow anybody to hurt our children. Joe Biden has given these lunatics unchecked power. I will have them fired and escorted from the building, and I will tell Congress that any appropriations bill I sign must reaffirm the President's ability to remove defiant employees from the job. It's all about our children. I will veto the sinister effort to weaponize civics education. We will keep men out of women's sports, and we will create a new credentialing body that will be the gold standard anywhere in the world to certify teachers who embrace patriotic values, support our way of life, and understand that their job is not to indoctrinate children, but very simply to educate them. Finally, I will implement massive funding preferences and favorable treatment for all states and school districts that make the following historic reforms in education. One, abolish teacher tenure for grades K through 12 so we can remove bad teachers and adopt merit pay to reward good teachers. We want great teachers in our schools. Two, drastically cut the bloated number of school administrators, including the costly, divisive, and unnecessary diversity, equity, and inclusion bureaucracy. Three, adopt a parental bill of rights that includes complete curriculum transparency and a form of universal school choice. And four, implement the direct election of school principals by the parents. It's all about the parents for their children. More than anyone else, parents know what their children need. If any principal is not getting the job done, the parents should be able to vote to fire them and select someone who will. This will be the ultimate form of local control. Our country has, frankly, never had anything like it, or let's say for at least the last 50 years. As the saying goes, personnel is policy. And at the end of the day, if we have pink-haired communists teaching our kids, we have a major problem. When I'm president, we will put parents back in charge and give them the final say. We will get back to teaching reading, writing, and math, called arithmetic. And we will give our kids the high-quality, pro-American education they deserve. We spend more per pupil than any nation in the world by double. We're going to keep spending the money, but we're now going to get our money's worth. We're at the end of every list on education, and yet we spend the most. We're going to change it around. We may spend the most, but we're going to be tops in education, no matter where you go, anywhere in the world. Thank you very much.